Hi, I hope everyone's having a good week and that you're all settled into whatever is passing for a normal routine for you these days. That's important that in these unsettled times we do find what normalcy we can and that we're looking towards what's the next stage of this. We all know that at some point in time we're going to come out of this level three lockdown into a level two lockdown. We may not be quite sure when or what that's going to mean, but that doesn't mean that you can't start planning for it. We know how fast the civil service reacted when COVID reached Cayman and we all had to get on stream with working from home or for a lot of people working in new places at new jobs that they weren't doing the day before. So to those of you doing that, thank you very, very much. Um, those of us who may have had it a little bit easier, we really appreciate what you're doing for the country and what you've had to go through to achieve what we are achieving. But now we can look ahead to the next change that's coming. What will that mean? For a lot of us, it, will, it may not mean very much difference. We're working full speed. Our agencies have worked out whether we're working from home or coming in, coming in in shifts, or for those people who are doing other jobs, those jobs aren't going, probably aren't going to fall away just because things are, you know, things are changing. And so we need to prepare for that, which just means it's time for all of us individually to start thinking about what do I need to do to adjust to what I think is going to be coming, both personally and professionally. Professionally wise, this is going to mean talking with our managers or managers talking with our staff. If you haven't started having this conversation yet, please take the initiative and start it. Even if the first answer is, we don't know yet, that's fine. It's a good chance to, to make this a conversation and say, well, okay, here's how I think things are going to evolve. Here's what's important. Here's what's important for us to get back to doing that we hadn't been doing for a while. Or, you know, here's the things that we have been doing that we can improve on. Maybe it means we need to take this time now to make a policy change or even look to making a regulation change so that the adaptations that we've tried to do now working remotely during COVID, we can continue on with for the foreseeable future. There is a lot of change coming and it's going to be scary, but by working together and sticking with it, we can make these changes work for us as well as possible. But please do not think that this change is not going to be stressful for a lot of people. And if you're one of those people, as we keep saying, reach out for help. Call one of the mental health hotlines, call a friend, talk to a work colleague, talk it over with somebody. A lot of times that's just what it takes is to talk these things through and get a good grip on what you're going to be dealing with. And so when you know it, when you're forearmed about it, you can deal with it easier. And this is not going to be necessarily an easy change. It's not going to be flipping a light switch and going back to the way things were. For all of those people working at home while they're homeschooling their kids, they've probably got another month or three months of that before there's more professional childcare available, which is going to mean all of us still being respectful of their stress load and that maybe this person actually can't come back to the office just because the office is technically reopening. They've got kids at home or family members who are still at high risk for COVID because there is going to be COVID in the community. Or maybe they themselves are a high risk person. And so just because their frontline job is now starting to come back, that may need to be some accommodation for them, either personally or professionally, and depending on how the job is done or even who does the job. So there are going to be a lot of small accommodations which are going to have to be made as we all get back to work, or I should say, as our work changes once again. And I think we're all looking forward to getting from a COVID level three to a COVID level two, when that happens and what that's going to look like, we don't know, but it is going to be a step forwards in one way or another and it's going to be up to us to prepare for it. So I'm going to encourage you this week, please take the time to try to think ahead of how do you want your life to look as that change comes and prepare for the change and make the change that you want happen. Good luck and have a good week.